morning. You know, I'm here today because I made a commitment to you. I made a commitment to myself, first and foremost, to one incredible thing. You know, a few months ago, I was reflecting on the energies and what is it that people were looking at or what is it that we were struggling with, you know, collectively. And I could just see so much struggle around money and career and, and relationships and loss. And uh, we're, we're, we're reinventing ourselves. And some of us don't really know what that's going to look like or where to take a step. So it's just seeing so much fear and being this energy of feeling stuck, not knowing what to do, not knowing who to trust. Um, and being in a world of uncertainty now, that's almost the new normal, right? So I was reflecting on, yes, back in July, we had five days of live training. And then again in August, and I kept the trainings up available for you um, all month, each month. And so at the end of September, we're preparing to do another live week of training. And there will be new brand new trainings. And this is all free for you. But here's the thing. One of the tools that I uh, teach is about having and receiving. And, you know, people tell me all the time, Amira, I would, I want a new job, or I want a better income, or I'd like to have a better relationship for with my spouse, or I'd like to change something about my health. The question is that I have for you is what are you willing to do different? You see, you if you had a crystal ball, and you looked into that crystal ball, you can actually predict what your life is going to look like in one year from now, based on your vibe, your energy, your thinking right now. Because unbeknownst to you, your thought patterns, thinking about what you're afraid of, or stuck on how things were so great in 2018 for you, but they suck today, by reflecting in that mode and vibration, you're keeping it stuck and you're literally predicting your future. You are creating exactly what you're at today. So part of the tools that we, we learn in and practice is being able to receive more. We have to be open, willing to receive more. And oftentimes we can't receive more because we're holding on to something that we've tucked away in our unconscious or baggage that we don't want to look at because it's uncomfortable. So I invite you in, in the manifesting challenge to let go of that baggage so that you can have more. You can have the relationship you want. You can have the career you want, the finances, the good health, more energy, more personal power, being able to say no when you mean it and not just saying yes and feeling like a doormat. So I received this email today and it prompted me to share this with you. Um, I really, really encourage you to show up live when you can. Now, I know it's during the morning and it's 11 a.m. to 12 Eastern time um, where I'm going to be here live till the end of September. I'm committed. I'm a thousand percent committed to my one incredible thing. And, 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 and as a result of coming here, I'm hearing people wanting to share, wanting to connect with others. And they have questions like, why isn't it working, Amira? What am I doing wrong? Or maybe what am I doing right? I love to hear about the story. So I invite you to share in the chat below this message or send me an email or respond um, with what you're noticing different. That's the first thing. We want to focus on what's different because some of these things take a little bit of time to move the energy. And then when we're not looking, it's almost like mushroom, mushrooms growing in the dark. Oh, that wasn't there yesterday. Or you walk out in your rose garden and you've been waiting for the rose to bloom for weeks. And there it is. Beautiful. So radiant. So Rebecca shared with me earlier today all of her magic, what's happening for her as a result of the one incredible thing, the manifesting challenge. Now, I did work with Rebecca in the past, and as we worked privately one-on-one, -on -one, we were able to shift some really big blocks for her. As a result, she got a great job that she had been struggling to, to find or achieve or manifest for a very long time. Now, this job started to really 
grind on her wasn't exactly her fit. She had compromised, but it was a job. It was a move in the right direction, right? So as we've been doing this manifesting challenge, guess what? All of a sudden she got a job offer and it's $20,000 more a year than what she's currently making and earning with a lot of great potential and possibilities for her. Well, lo and behold, in the last week or so, she got another job offer and approach from a recruiter. And this job is a whole lot more. And ultimately, her goal was to make, you know, $50,000 a month. Okay, a month, I said a month. <laughs> so how exciting is that? These recruiters are reaching out to her, her energy has shifted. Her, her magnetism, her presence and confidence has, has elevated, right? So what else is going on good for her? her? So yeah, she has more energy. Work people are looking at her with more respect. And so it's really amplifying. Now, what's really not going great for her, it's not like super bad, but things that she wants to focus on are her health. There's been a lingering challenge for her. Seems like the doctors are just bouncing her around. She's not getting concrete information where she needs to go. So we need to work on that, Rebecca. And then her personal power, being able to, to stay maybe with her convictions and, um, and be focused and disciplined and confident that's still an area that she wants to work on. Also, her, she mentioned she was looking for a way to uh, have better connections with people, improve the relationships or exchange of energy and communication. So, you know, the types of relationships we create, um, having lose or losing, a lot of us are losing or eliminating you know, friendships and relationships that have been toxic to us, which is fantastic. Cutting away the shaft is, is, is a good step, but then there's a void. Um, I know there's been a lot of death around us. A lot of people are leaving their physical bodies. So now we're having to create relationships with the spirit world and having a new understanding of what that might look. Perhaps in, in process of all of this, Rebecca mentioned, she's challenged with her husband's re the relationship with that and what's happening is he saw an ad or an uh, yeah an ad for divorce or men with divorce <laughs> so you know really psychically what's happening is her shift in confidence and cutting through you know like a hot knife and butter she is manifesting like crazy it's shaking his level of stability and confidence and and perhaps it's triggering some aspects within himself that he knows that he's been avoiding that he needs to kick into gear or do something different right so it's what i call triggering him to do something different as well so as we shift Yes, it sends a ripple out. It will affect your spouse. It will affect your friends and colleagues. You will influence your, your kids by taking back your power and giving yourself the energy and the attention, opening to receive, opening to receive what you're, you're worthy of, what you deserve. And you might not feel a thousand percent committed to feeling deserving of that big dream that you have yet, but we'll start with the smaller ones, perhaps. And all of it will accumulate in ways that will truly blow your mind. And that's what I'm committed to. I'm committed to you having one incredible thing in your life. Like, what would it be like if your life was different or the circumstance that's challenging you the most right now with your health? What would that be like? if that situation was different. Okay, and we, we don't have to have the absolute answer, the defined, you know, final outcome, but we can have and explore feeling different, feeling at peace, because that issue is being, you know, you're seeing progress in it. I reflect back on when I was working with Shirley earlier this year, you know, she was struggling with a lot of physical pain. And it was interesting because within a couple of weeks, 
you know, we got some information that she was eating something that was actually triggering allergic reactions. So she wasn't absorbing her nutrients and she was fighting some food that she was doing. And, and I was saying, you know, I see this in, inflammation. And I remember seeing that she needed to, a shift in the diet. And I directed her to finding, uh, I think it was an, uh, in, not an internist, but a um, functional medicine doctor. She found someone in her area and guess what he said? He dittoed, repeated exactly what I, I said in terms of her, her diet. So she got, she's getting the support in her area in alignment with what she needs. I'm not the, the, the MD, but gave her that information to then take the steps and it's empowering. And guess what? She has more energy than she knows what to do with. Okay. That doesn't mean that everything's solved, but it's a stepping stone and, and feeling the progress and feeling validated and feeling rewarded that you can receive more. Okay. So there is a process of opening to receive, being grounded, being present. You are creating your future. It is predictable based on what you're feeling right now. So get out of the corner. Okay. Send me a note, join me live, join me in the Facebook group that's private, um, The Art of Making Miracles, and, you know, let's connect. I'm here to support you stepping out in receiving that which you want. It's not what I want, okay? Um, but when you're happy, you know, that raises your vibration, your passion, your energy level, and that's literally in helping the universe conspire to bring you what's deeply embedded in your heart as you get real, honest with yourself. And yeah, you can have it. So let's go for it, okay? I hope to see you for our next live. If not, I'll see you in the meditations or the, um, the coffee and chat. And uh, bring your cup of coffee or your cup of tea and come and, come and visit with me. And so... I'm just going to align with you right now that you are grounded and that as you're grounded, that you can have more clarity and focus and certainty that you will begin to flow. You will be in that universal divine magical flow to manifest your one incredible thing. <laughs>